Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we will be looking at Colossians chapter 2. Let me tell you how hard I have worked for you, and for the people in Laodicea, and for all those who do not know me personally, I do so that your hearts may be filled with courage and that they may be drawn together in love and have the full wealth of assurance which true understanding brings. And so they will know God's secret, which is Christ himself. He is the key that opens all the hidden treasures of God's wisdom and knowledge. I tell you then, do not let anyone fool you with false arguments, no matter how good they seem to be. For even though I'm absent in the body, yet I am with you in spirit, I am glad. And as I see the resolute firmness with which you stand together in your faith in Christ. Fullness of life in Christ. Since you have accepted Christ Jesus as Lord, live in union with him. Keep your roots deep in him, build your lives on him, and become even stronger in your faith as you were taught, and be filled with thanksgiving. See to it, then, that no one makes a captive of you with the worthless deceit of human wisdom, which comes from the teachings handing down by men, and from the ruling spirits of the universe, and not from Christ. For the full content of divine nature lives in Christ, in his humanity, and you have been given full life and union with him. He is supreme over every spiritual ruler and authority. In union with him, you were circumcised, not with the circumcision that is made by men, but with Christ's own circumcision, which consists of being freed from the power of sinful body. For when you were baptized, you were buried with Christ, And in baptism, you were also raised with Christ through your faith and the active power of God, who raised him from death. You were at one time spiritually dead because of your sins, and because you were Gentiles outside of the law, but God has now brought you to life with Christ. God forgave all of our sins. He canceled the unfavorable record of our debts with its binding rules and did away with it completely by nailing it to the cross. And on that cross, Christ freed himself from the power of the spiritual rulers and authorities. He made a public spectacle of them by leading them as captives into his victory possession, procession. So let no one make rules about what you eat or drink, or about what subject or holy days or the new moon festivals or the Sabbath. All such things are only a shadow of things in the future. The reality is Christ. Do not allow yourselves to be condemned by anyone who claims to be superior because of special visions and insist on false humility and the worship of angels. Such a person is all puffed up for no reason at all by his human ways of thinking and has stopped holding on to Christ to his head. Under Christ's control, the whole body is nourished and help, held together by its joints and ligaments and grows as God wants it to grow. Dying and living with Christ. You have died with Christ and are set free from the ruling spirits of the universe. Why then do you live through the, you belong to, to the world? Why do you obey such rules as don't handle this, don't taste that, don't touch the other? All these things become useless once they are used. They are only man-made rules and teachings. Of course, they appear to have wisdom in their forced worship of angels and false humility and severe treatment of the body, but they have no real value in controlling physical passions. So this chapter is super important. One, because there's a lot of people on TikTok that I've seen that say that you're condemned if you eat um, pork, if you eat self, uh, shellfish, shrimp, um, anything like that. There's people out there that are stuck on the old doctrines of the Old Testament and don't realize 
that in Christ we are set free from these man-made rules. We should be focusing just on Jesus Christ, that he is Lord and he is our Savior. He has set us free. So we choose to follow Christ, and as far as man-made rules or doctrines in the church, if it doesn't have anything to do with the deity of Christ and who he is, and that his salvation is free, and that he is the only way, um, if it's a man-made doctrine that doesn't have a spiritual substance, or if it doesn't, um, if it does not edify Christ, then that's something that you can choose to do. But if it goes against the word of God and you see that in a church, run from that. Run from that church. If they're doing things that are not biblical, you shouldn't be at that church at all. Because there are certain churches that do things such as praying to uh, the dead. They pray to false idols. And that is wrong. This is what this passage is saying. Our focus should be on Christ alone. Because he is king. He is the Lord of lords. And he is our savior. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will start on chapter one next.